Every minute and every meter counts. Good views from up here on this human engineered tsunami safe zone in a place called Gordon Spratt Reserve just behind Papamoa College. Uh, this is the sort of place you want to come to if in fact there is a tsunami, uh, Graham. Yeah, that's right, Andrew. So this is one of the few places in New Zealand where a structure has been evac engineered for evacuation from tsunami. Here in Papamoa, it's a long way to the hills behind us from the ocean over that direction. And so as they built this neighborhood, they engineered this mound with uh, protection inside under the grass as well, so it won't be eroded by a tsunami. And so the people around here know in a long or a strong earthquake, they need to get gone, and here the safe area is actually this mound, not up a hill or, or inland. And, that, and that's the whole point, isn't it? So long or strong, get gone. That, that's the message about you know, being prepared in the event of a tsunami happening. Exactly. Earthquakes are the best and fastest warning for a tsunami. If you feel a long or a strong earthquake, so longer than a minute, or it's hard to stand up, you need to evacuate immediately and get to the nearest high ground. Get out of your tsunami evacuation zone. Every minute and every meter you head inland counts. The, uh, the important thing ahead of time is to make sure you know where your tsunami evacuation zone is and you've practiced your evacuation route. Do that at school or at home, get your parents to do it at work. Make sure at shakeout, after you've dropped, covered and held, you then, if you're at the coast, get gone if it's been a long or a strong earthquake. If you've run through that drill as a tsunami hikoi, you'll know where to go when you have a possible tsunami on the way. And uh, we were talking just before, um, you said that uh, we don't, you, don't, you don't want people going in their cars. You've that's that's right. So I went to Japan straight after the 2011 tsunami and I asked the emergency managers in all of the seven hardest hit communities, what do you want us in New Zealand to most know and be prepared for tsunami here? And they said, know your evacuation zones, evacuate on the earthquake, don't wait for anything else, and don't drive your cars because there's not much room on those roads and the cars quickly jam up. We've seen that here before. So go on foot, use your bike, and have a plan for where you're gonna go.